Weirdos, weirdos, boils and ghouls. It's kind of weird when I change it up like this, right? <laughs> I've been trawling the, the internet, looking for paranormal groups on social media, trying to find more people around the world, because if I keep just doing British channels and the huge American channels, I'm not giving people a fair shout. And I found a few Australian channels that I really enjoy. There are some Australian channels that I may be fortunate enough to work with next year. And then I see a comment on a Facebook page that um, kind of, why are Australians held back by YouTube? I've only got 7,000 subscribers. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's a thing. Geographically being restricted, I don't know. So I'm like, let's have a look at this guy. If the channel is decent, maybe I can give him a shout out and promote him a bit. And there's a reason that this is the second intro. YouTube are not holding your content back, my friend. You are. Um, the channel is called Night Watchers Paranormal, and I didn't realise it was a very, very poor attempt at an ITC channel. And using things like Wayback, thanks, Parple, and other means, this guy's channel has been food eating, reaction channel, and he's tried everything to try and make his content pop and get picked up. It's obviously not worked for him. There's nothing wrong with that. My channel started as a Twitch advice thing, and then it was dog shit. And I really wanted to sort of try and help out somebody new to look at. And then I seen this, making contact, a cold case special. Contacting Samantha Knight, making contact, episode five, cold case. Ah, this kind of thing, it pisses me off. The ITC, the... They're using real tragic events and unfinished stories and for content. It all rubs me the wrong way. And I was hoping this guy was going to be respectful. And then he did something really fucking stupid. This woman has been missing since the 80s. And he's going to try and contact her. And he explains what method he's using. And this is why your channel doesn't grow. I'll play. So there's going to be a clip or two here of my reactions to this guy's video that I was looking to for somebody to promote and be like, hey, that we have some really major um, intelligent responses come through. Cool. Well, let's get into it. So firstly, we're going to start off with the necrophonic and we're going to see if we can get any... Um... I'm going to say this very loud for everyone to hear, especially you at the back and you up there. The Necrophonic app is garbage. It does not work. It is regurgitating your own sounds back at you. There is a consistent load of noise on a loop with reverb and echo and shit added to it. And it cycles around because after an hour, you will hear some woman going, oh, yeah. Okay, not quite, but... It's recycled garbage. It, it is not fit for purpose. It is a entertainment application. You can't use the Necrophonic app to try and find somebody that has been missing since the 80s. Communication through this. So I'm going to have it close to the camera so you guys can hear it. Okay, firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and connect with Samantha and then we'll see how we go from there. But what we're going to try and listen for is I'm going to ask for her. So I want to ask her if she's here. So we're going to listen for a yes. Right, and I'm going to ask her for, to say her name, her first name, or her last Not the cat, boy! It's a demon. They've already made contact. This isn't, this isn't the person you're looking for. This is a demon, clearly. Fuck me. Do you know there is a reason why all of the paranormal teams, real or fake, have been the cat balls? It's because they're shit. There is a little piece of foil that will randomly touch a connector, and boom. You can go somewhere not haunted on a concrete floor, lay one of those things down, and it will go off for no reason with nobody near it. Not a ghost. Cheap Chinese cat's toys. They were never designed for ghost hunting. If it flew off the desk, I could imagine it. Why the sonic boom? Because a piece of shit toy is flashed. Last name. Or both, if she can. Look, cat balls go off. Cat ball. <laughs> I'm just going to reset it. I always reset the ball to make sure... It's not a problem with that. If anybody's here with me, cat balls down off again. Is that somebody here? <laughs> Magical! The cat ball is going off again, ladies and gentlemen. Call NASA, call the FBI, call Nobel, call them all. This guy's cracked it. How to talk to the dead. 
fucking cat ball. Now, I understand why people were initially using the cat balls as just an extra piece of evidence, but we all quickly figured out that they were shit. Here touching the... Is that somebody here touching that ball? Yeah. Yep, straight up. Okay, can you please... Yep, straight up. Yeah, he's written Ken on the screen. Yep, straight up. Ken. He wrote Ken on the stream. <sighs> Walk away from it. Step back. I just don't want to touch at the moment, if you can help it. Just so I can... Ah, keeps touching it. I'm going to reset that ball again here, bro. Ah, stop again. I'm looking for my spirit guides. If you are there... If you are there to my spirit guides, I just want I want you to come forward. I need to ask for you to I need to ask you to pull a name forward for me, a person forward. I'm gonna reset this ball. I need just to pull I need just to Bend pull the forward fucking somebody ball. for me. I'm looking for a young girl by the name of Samantha Knight. I need to find out some questions. I want to answers. I want to know where her body is. If she can come forward, I'm asking Andrew, any of my attachments. My spirit guides, I need just to help pull forward this young lady. Did you get these attachments while you were scoffing food? Or did you get these attachments from reviewing paranormal videos? You see, while I said there is nothing wrong with changing up your content because things are not working, how did you suddenly get the ability to have spirit guides and read tarot cards and the like? There's a guy in the UK that's doing this that PSI have gone after and he's a bit of a scammer. I hope you're not a scammer. I hope you're just a little bit naive and for some reason think that app is real. Samantha Knight. She was from Bondi in New South Wales, Australia. Can you please bring her forward? Can you please let me know to my spirit guides or attachments? Let me know in this device here if you are able to help me. Now, as you will see in those clips from my original recording where I wanted to look for a legitimate channel to shout out that I haven't shouted out before, it didn't go so well. I headbutted my desk twice. And yes, I did it for comedic effect, but Jesus Christ. The necrophonic app and the cat ball is this guy's evidence of him being able to speak with the dead. So, the necrophonic app. I was just about to download it and turn it on and prove my point. It is $8.99. I'm paying for that. Especially after Dean paid for the app when we first started recording it. When we first started recording our investigations, Dean paid for this piece of shit app. We used it on one investigation and we turned it off because we heard my voice say Dean come back out of it. The Necrophonic app asks you for permissions when you install it. Location. Access to your microphone. Access to your photos and videos. That's quite dangerous. How much information do you have in your photo album? In your videos? How much can they date the mine out of that to give you responses? Well, I don't think they do it for that. But what back-end parties are involved in this that it could use your information and photographs? And if you're one of the people that have been ripped off by this application, turn it on, just put it to one side. Don't speak to it, don't ask it nothing. And then just wait like an hour, an hour and a half. I mark down on a piece of paper how many times the same noise comes out. Not a similar noise, the exact same noise. So Dan Rickard making contact. Um, Night Watchers Paranormal. YouTube are not holding your content back because you're Australian. What a silly thing to say. What a horrible thing to say, in fact. And I'm... I don't want to be blunt, but maybe you will see this and maybe you will learn from this. Using tragedies and all the rest of it and then these god-awful apps to try and make a buck is wrong. I don't like it. I don't know any of the debunkers that like it. So maybe knock that shit on the head. The reason you can't get to 7,000 subscribers is not because YouTube uh, don't like Australians, because I know a couple of Australian channels that are well over 7,000. Not just in the paranormal field. I mean, there's a guy I'm massively into my, my collections and stuff, and there's an Australian guy that does um, prop replicas, and he buys cheap action figures and makes them look good. Australian. Um, 
You've got people like Cosplay with Chris. You've got Minty's Art. These are not involved in the paranormal, but they are huge Australian YouTubers. So you need to understand, it's not YouTube that's the problem. It's you. It's your content. A lot may have come across harsh, but when I'm wanting to look for somebody to give them a little bit of a push, a little bit of a... There's a helping hand. And then I see that. It pisses me off. You can't blame YouTube for your mistakes. I never blamed YouTube for my last channel's failure to get three digit views half the time. That was my fault for recording on a mobile phone and being shit at it. But I learned to cut my teeth with that channel. And then I went over to Twitch. You know, and I did okay on Twitch. I didn't blame Twitch or thank Twitch. It was just, I put the work in, I got the rewards. I come to YouTube, I put even more work in than I ever have, and I get the rewards. It is not YouTube going, hey, he's Welsh, we like Welsh people, we must promote the Welsh people. Because for every channel like me from Wales, there are channels 10 times bigger. And there are channels that are a lot smaller. There's a pranking channel from Wales that are massive. There are Australian channels that are massive. Don't blame the algorithm. Look at your content. And while this may sound like I am being mean to you, I'm not. I am just trying to steer you in a direction of less bullshit, more hard work. Anyway, I know this video has been a lot harsher than usual, but when somebody blames a platform for their own misgivings, I take a bit of issue with that. Much love to you all. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe and all that shit that I always forget to do. I've started to do it a little bit more often and I still squirm when I do it. Beardo, out.